we have four themes that are in the rectilinear configurations. So you work with your ordinary states, physical, emotional sensations, external sights, external sounds, internal mental pictures, internal talk. So that's a whole, a whole approach, a whole theme, and no touch, sight, sound, feel, image, talk. It's abbreviated in there. We also have a way of enjoying restful states. So you can note the corresponding restful states, physical relaxation, and so forth. Relaxation, light, silence, peace, blank, quiet. You can start there. You can start there. Actually, you can start anywhere. Now we've got explore dynamic states. So you can note flow. You can note vanishings. There's another way to work with restful experience, which is the do nothing. It's got like four themes, but there's actually six procedures, each of which has various versions, as you'll remember. So you can start anywhere, you can go anywhere. Well, one way you might use it is you just pick one technique, one version, and that's all you're going to do. In that case, this represents a Sears Roebuck catalog of spiritual, spiritual practices, and you decide to make one purchase, and that's it. And so maybe, maybe you like noting restful states, so that's what you do, and you don't worry about all this other stuff. Another way to go about it is, well, you like several of them, and you arrange them in a workout sequence for yourself, like a Nautilus cycle. Each one of these is a piece of workout equipment. Now, those of you that were in the PM group process today, I gave you, uh, I gave you the full psycho-spiritual Nautilus cycle. We started by noting ordinary states, sort of like, okay, we start at the course level of ordinary experience, untangle. Then we, okay, let's note the corresponding restful states, thinned out, a little more pleasant because uh, we're a little more settled now. Okay, now in, there's could be flow in the ordinary or the restful, so we note the flow. Then we note, noted vanishings. Now we've got quite a momentum. So if we do nothing, there's likelihood that there'll be concentration, clarity, equanimity, even though we're not trying to make it be there, and indeed even a likelihood that there'll be quite a bit of restfulness and energy, even though we're not in any way intentionally doing anything. So we sort of like, okay, this is what in Catholicism would be called infused contemplation or passive contemplation. You're not doing anything anymore. You're letting the source do you. And that should take you into that. <laughs> and where do you go from that? For where do you go after crucifixion? Only one place, resurrection. So you reanimate in a more positive way by a focus on positive. Now, you could start back here again, right? It's a cycle. If you come back here, now you're just noting what is, but because you've been through this whole thing, what is is probably a little better than what it was an hour ago. Okay, and then you just cycle around, okay, and cycle around and cycle around. And it hits all the psycho-spiritual muscle groups. So the one I just showed went ordinary, rest, flow, <laughs> vanishing, do nothing, positive, and then you can go back to ordinary. This was designed to make it easy for a person to interactively guide you. Once you have internalized these categories, if something comes up in the real world that blows you away, all you got to do is call me or any facilitator that I've trained in this system, and you will be back on track, lickety split, I mean within a half an hour. I don't care how big it is. I mean, I don't care how big it is. This gives a, a, 
a standard vocabulary that a facilitator can be there to remind you. Most of us are not going to do the monastery thing. So how are you going to get the industrial strength experiences that people get when they expose themselves to the intensity of traditional monastic practice. How you're going to get it is, okay, you're not going to go to a monastery, but is the monastery going to come to you? You bet. You'll have an injury. You'll have an illness. You'll have something happen. You'll be betrayed. You will betray. <laughs> you will be mugged. <laughs> Stuff is going to happen. Stuff is going to happen. When it happens, that's a monastery if you know how to use it as a monastery. But there's, it may be a little hard to remember that you can do that and it may be quite hard to remember exactly how to do that on your own. But if you call me or s someone like me, and if you're already familiar with this system, we can get you on track very quickly. I do it every day. People call me. You know, I just got mugged in L.A. at gunpoint. Um, I just, you know, my son just got arrested. Uh, my best friend just committed suicide. And, you know, okay, so they have to talk about it a little bit, and then we get down to work. And that person is now in as intense a training situation as anybody ever put themselves through in the name of practice. And because there's an external person leading them through, they're able to get profound, permanent growth out of that. So that's why I created this thing, to be something that you could sort of internalize, or you could internalize, that is optimal for an algorithmic approach to optimize your experience that you might not be, remember how to do, but a professionally trained facilitator does know how to do, and will take you through. And that's how it works. So you, let's say you start with ordinary states. Well, maybe there's a lot of flow, or maybe there's a lot of vanishing. So you, okay, well, let's explore that, okay? Or maybe uh, uh, you start with restful states. You want to start there, and things get pretty restful. So, okay, now let's drop the efforting. Let's do nothing. Um, and then, well, where to go from here? Well a natural place to go from nothing whatsoever is to a new good something, etc., etc. So you loop and branch. You can start anywhere, depending on what comes up. So another way that you can use this is to sort of loop and branch. That makes it more complicated. You don't have to do that, but it gives you flexibility, that, and that gives you the ability to optimally deal with uh, both windows of opportunity and walls that may challenge you. If you. Even if you don't use it as a looping and branching, optimizing algorithm, when something comes up in your life and you call for an interactive guided session and now, okay, we're going to take this, this catastrophe and we're going to make it into your monastery, this is, this is how we'll work. I, I, I'll take you through the algorithm and with a lot more bells and whistles than are on here because I've got all these special exercises. You know, if, if the standard stuff doesn't work, you know, my looping and branching algorithm is huge. So you sort of dock your little computer program <laughs> inside my huge com computer program or one of my facilitators and we optimize your experience and then you're going to be able to get that maximum psycho-spiritual growth out of the doo-doo of, of life.